whatever your career is, it doesn't matter if it's dental hygiene or not, okay? If it's in your heart and you feel like that is what your purpose is, that's what makes you happy, you don't want to spend your life working because you want to do something that makes your life, that makes you happy, that brings you joy, that brings you happiness, okay? You spend most of your time at work, so you might as well do something that you actually enjoy and love. So whatever path that you choose and you feel like that will bring you happiness, it's what you should go for. Don't listen to other people. So I have a take care of your health section, okay? Take care of your health in general, like your mental health, your physical health, because the better you feel, the more energy you have to put forward into your studies, okay? Um, plan your meals so you don't have to waste your time thinking about what am I going to eat today? What am I going to... You already have it with you. Done. Problem solved. Um, preparing your meals and also, the only reason why it's good for you, you're not depending on eating crappy food that you're going to ingest and then all of a sudden you feel sleepy and tired and you're not, you don't have the best version of you. To, you know to get your work done like you're feeling sluggish throughout the day you only feel good in the morning or you only feel good at night like you gotta stay on you gotta be alert so you gotta put the right foods inside inside of your body to keep you on top of your game so yeah i mean i wasn't always eating healthy as y'all saw like i was eating pizza and crap but as soon as i started feeling so i was like no karen go back to eating healthy like i was like it was, it's a constant struggle all right it's a journey so you gotta just try to stay on top of it like even if you're gonna eat something bad but try to like balance it and go back to good you can't spend the whole semester eating crappy food because you're just gonna feel tired all the time it's gonna be that much harder for you to succeed i'm not saying you're not gonna do it but it's gonna be harder well that's how it was for me okay only keep like-minded individual in your circles okay only keep like-minded individual in your circle during this program because I had to cut off one. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy but like some people were really okay there was this girl right she was just like Karen it's not that it's not that serious it's just um getting your teeth clean and I was just like yeah it's not that serious for you but my grades depend on it and you told me it was gonna come and all of a sudden now you're just canceling because you don't think it's that serious that's fucked up like I told you my like it dep like if you don't show up I'm I fell for that day and she was just like and there was this other girl she was just like oh you're just gonna clean teeth yo and I was just like okay girl like I can understand why she thinks that but then again I feel like this is it's my it's my responsibility that's what my career is Something that I want to do so if you're not gonna support me I'm not saying to cut out to, to go around cutting off your friends okay that's not what I'm saying people who are trying like mentally I felt like she was constantly putting me down okay and I had a goal I have a, I had a vision for myself and it didn't align with her so we just had to go our separate ways which is fine whatever she decided to do in her life I was like yeah girl you, you go get that this is what you want do it but for me there was none of that so that that's okay like that's that's completely fine even if to this day if she came in like when he talked to me i wouldn't have a problem with that it's just that i guess whatever i wanted to do she didn't like i don't know but i found my passion my purpose so it, it, it didn't matter i gotta follow what god told me to do so that's god created me she didn't so i'm following what god told me to do I'm now editing this and I'm seeing <laughs> my reaction, what I said, and it's the funniest thing to me right now. But I'm going to leave it in because it's true. You just have to follow your passion. People are going to judge, but as long as you are happy doing what you're doing, just, just got to do it. If it's for you, if it's meant for you, do it. Because is just that person going to be able to tell me what I need to be doing in life? No. God told me what to do. So I just gotta do what he needs me to accomplish. So yeah, follow your passion, guys. Don't listen to other people. Follow your heart, cause that's where God will let you know what you need to be doing. Cause he'll make you happy while you get the work done. I don't know if that makes sense. But most people that are successful are very happy with what they're doing. So that's a clue. 
sleeping is very important. All right, I almost got into a car accident not sleeping enough and traveling back and forth. I had to move closer to the school, like five minutes away from the school, because where I was living, it was 40 miles away from the school, so going back and forth, not sleeping much. One day, I was driving on the highway, and I was literally like, I fell asleep for like 10 seconds on the highway. Maybe it was five seconds. You know how, when what brought woke me up? You know the, um, the things that they put on the, on, like before you hit the barricade, the, the things that goes like, yeah, when you hit the pavement, the, the rigged pavement, that's what woke me up. If it wasn't for that, I think I would have hit the barricade and woke up, but thank God that didn't happen. Thank God they had those little things on the, on the floor, the, the rigged pa pavement, I would say. Um, yeah, that's what woke me up. I was freaking out that day. Like, I can't recall it too. I was freaking out. My heart started pounding. I pulled over on the right and I like, you know, shut my eyes. I slept for a little bit for like 10, 15 minutes. I had to like rest, you know, on the breakdown lane. I, I although I don't like it because, you know, huge trucks are going by, boom, boom, boom. It kind of scares me, but I had to, you know, take a break because I could, well, where was I going to go? Like, <laughs> like I had to pull over somewhere. Like, so I pulled over, slept for like 15 minutes and like, and then I like swat, I sl splashed some water in my eyes and then I continued driving, thank God. And I was like, uh-uh, that day I got home and I was like, nope, I gotta find an apartment near the school because I can't, nope, I can't do this. I can't do this whole back and forth. Although the, the last semester I did do the back and forth because I had less classes, so I didn't have to go back and I kind of got used to the groove. And So yeah, but that was the last semester I was running out of cash so I had to go back and forth I didn't so yeah sleep okay like I was saying sleep although it is hard to find time to sleep okay find it all it's hard to find time to sleep but I found that once I started eating better my body didn't need as much time to sleep because my body was getting what it was required of like the food that were meant to go in it so it I didn't have to like stay two, three hours, that extra two, three hours sleeping because my body was getting the natural nutrients it needed, like it was getting all of the good food. When I was, in, when I was eating really bad food, you know, food that, that are not meant for your body, like I felt like I was sleeping like 10 hours, but when I was eating healthy, six hours was all, I, all that I needed because your body didn't need that much time to break down all these processed gunk that you're putting in it. So yeah, so eat healthy, you'll be able to sleep better, and you won't need that much sleep, okay? Reward yourself, you guys. Reward yourself after, you know, you, an exam, you've done well on the exam, or the project, you did excellent. Reward yourself. Um, also, have, your, have yourself some me time to rejuvenate, okay? You gotta take yourself, you know, you gotta be by yourself sometimes. I mean, if, that, if that's what rejuvenates you. If being around other people rejuvenates you, that's great, but me... I gotta like have time to myself to rejuvenate and then I'll, I'll go out. I was saying meditate and visualize yourself succeeding. Like I bought this shirt right here. I've got this. I bought it like at a time where I felt like oh my god. Like I felt I wasn't losing focus but I just felt exhausted. I just felt like I needed something to just make me know that I, I can do this. Like I needed the positive reinforcement. I needed some words of encouragement okay um so i'll meditate and then i'll just visualize myself the, i'll visualize the day of my graduation and that really helped like it made me smile made me happy it made me want to go get it you know it made me want to push myself more and yeah so yeah surround yourself with like-minded people Okay, that's the one thing I'd say. Like, get away. Even in your family, you're gonna find other people that are kind of like dragging you, or telling you you can't do this, telling you you can't do that. Don't listen to them. Okay, if your if God is telling you, if your heart is content with your career as a dental hygienist, if you feel like you'll be a great hygienist and you think that's what your purpose is, don't listen to other people telling you. Um, that you can't do it. How do they know? Like, do do they know what's what's in you? Like, do they know your do they know your heart? No, they don't. They didn't 
they're not God. They didn't make you. They didn't. They, they don't know what God put inside your heart. They don't know your purpose. So how do they know? Don't listen to them. Even if you feel like it's hard and you can't do it, like look, look at my old videos. Like I was struggling. Now I'm like, you know, listen. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Like I was going to office, not office hours, like um, open lab, and I felt like I sucked. I recorded myself out so I could see myself outside of myself, so I could see what I'm doing wrong, and. I fix a few things about myself like you know when you're doing it when you're doing certain things you don't realize but then you record yourself and you're doing it and you're like oh god I'm doing this yeah so that helps so they don't know what you're capable of so only you know what's in your heart and what you're supposed to do so whatever your career is it doesn't matter if it's dental hygiene or not okay if it's in your heart and you feel like that is what your purpose is that's what makes you happy you don't want to spend your life working because you want to do something that makes you alive, that makes you happy, that brings you joy, that brings you happiness, okay? You spend most of your time at work, so you might as well do something that you actually enjoy and love. So whatever path that you choose and you feel like that will bring you happiness is what you should go for. Don't listen to other people. All right. I told myself I was going to get this t-shirt and nothing was going to stop me, okay? I I've got this. I'm going to do this and this is what's going to happen. Like, I'm not selling for nothing else. So, at times, it will get lonely, and the only um, like-minded people that you will find to listen to are motivational speakers on YouTube, okay? Sometimes that's what I relied on, and I would listen to them over and over again, and that helped me tremendously. I would listen to them every single morning when I would wake up, and listening to those people first thing in the morning, you know, that's how you start your day. You start your day with a positive attitude, with a can-do attitude. Not, oh my God, I'm going to try. Can-do attitude. That's what you need to start your day. So, at times when it, got, it, it gets, you know, not you're not going to find that many people everywhere. But you just got to surround yourself with them. Even if it's through YouTube, Instagram, I don't know. But luckily those days we have those things, right? So, those are the people that propelled me forward when... I, I don't know, was getting down on myself. So 